Welcome to the C3DT Flatten App tutorial. When designing a project, frequently used methods are creating components in place, reusing pre-made parts or assemblies, as well as creating frame generator structures. While Frame Generator is a powerful tool to design while keeping an adaptive environment, many will find that once this design meets the production stage, combining non-frame generated models and frame generator models into an assembly is nearly impossible. As a demonstration, this pre-made assembly is placed and constrained to a frame generated beam. The highlighted sheet metal plate will be welded to the frame generated beam in the production stage. Even though it is possible to demote frame generated models to create a new assembly, there is no way to combine and demote non frame generated models together with frame generated models into a single assembly. Even when the plate is dragged and dropped from the sub assembly into the frame, there is no option to create a sub assembly with demote. When the beam is promoted from the frame to the main assembly, we can demote the beam and the plate into a new assembly, but by doing this, the beam will lose its connection to the skeleton and will no longer be adaptive. With the C3DT Flatten app, a solution is provided by giving the designer the liberty to restructure the design into new assemblies. Note that by using the app, the original design will remain unchanged. Its structure and all its adaptivity and flexibility will be preserved. The intended use of the app takes place once a project is approved and preferably no dimensions will be changed from that point on. This because the C3DT Flatten app will create a new assembly, it will place every model on the same level and all the relationships between the separate models will be removed. This is done with all the parts and all the different assemblies. Important to note is that there will be no adaptivity left in the newly created assembly, but it will be preserved inside the original design. The functions of the app are located within Autodesk Inventor on the ribbon within the C3DT Tools tab. When using the function flatten ASCII all, a new assembly will be generated where all models will be grounded and placed on the top level. Note that all the constraints between these models will be removed. The designer is now free to combine models and demote them into new assemblies. Likewise, when using the function flatten ASCII exclude, the designer can separately select which individual assemblies to exclude from the previously explained process. By enabling include all instances of selected assemblies, each copy of that assembly will be excluded. Within the excluded assemblies, all previous levels and constraints will remain unchanged. As a third option, when using the function flatten ASCII frame, a new assembly will be generated where only the models from within the frame generator assembly will be grounded and placed at the top level. The constraints and levels of all other models, parts, as well as assemblies will remain unchanged. 
Lastly, while in the designing stage, frame-generated models are unique and adaptive. In the production stage, the amount of unique parts can, in a lot of cases, be reduced by substituting identical models with unique file names. This can both be done for parts and assemblies, this to improve and simplify the manufacturing process. In conclusion, the C3DT Flatten app provides full flexibility in both the designing and pre-production stage. When designing, the designer is no longer obliged to anticipate how the project will be constructed. For other useful apps, or if you as a designer are in need of help with challenges within Autodesk Inventor, please visit our website or contact us. Until next time, 